Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been getting a lot of requests from all of you uh, that have watched uh, a specific video where I was flying in VR uh, using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and um, I was getting some really good uh, high quality imagery and a lot of you have been asking me if I could do a session on my particular settings that I use uh, because you are using a computer that is similar to this one here that I am going to show you. I have a couple different computers, but this one here is the one that I was using in that specific video, which I will put a link up above if you wanna check it out. So these settings are specifically for anybody that is in VR and is primarily using the virtual desktop application. Um, this may or may not work for you as well as it is for me because you know we may have slightly different computers. Uh, this computer is a i9 processor 10,900K with 128 gigabytes of RAM and I do use the NVIDIA RTX 2070 for my uh, GPU. And I believe it has uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM on the actual GPU. So I'm gonna go through all the settings here. You can either take a screenshot if you like, or just go through this video here with me and uh, you know change them as you see that I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is on the top left here, just uh, click on uh, this uh, section here where it says adjust uh, image settings. And then you want to make sure that you click this middle one here which says uh, use the advanced uh, 3D image uh, settings. And then make sure that you are on quality. Okay, once that's done, uh, go to the second option here and then make sure you are on the global settings here, right on the uh, this tab here on the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna run through these here and uh, you can just kind of take a note and um, screenshot it or whatever. And, um, or you can just follow along with this video here. So um, the uh, image sharpening, I have uh, sharpening off, ambient occlusion is off. Anisotropic filtering, I have it 16 times. Anti-aliasing uh, is off. Anti-aliasing gamma uh, correction on. Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled. And anti-aliasing transparency uh, is off. Background application, uh, max frame rate, I have it 60 frames per second and uh, the uh, CUDA GPUs is all. Uh, CUDA system uh, fallback policy is uh, driver default. And then this uh, DSR factors is off. And let me go ahead and just scroll down here, try not to lose my spot. All right, and then uh, this uh, will probably be uh, grayed out, at least it is for me. Low latency mode I have at off. Uh, max frame rate I have at 45 frames per second. And the multi-frame uh, sampled uh, is off. OpenGL GDI compatibility is auto. OpenGL rendering GPU I have on my specific uh, GPU which is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX uh, 27 Super. And you can just go ahead and click on that and uh, click on the, your, your specific graphics card that you are using. Then uh, you want to go uh, power management mode is uh, prefer maximum performance is what I had here. And let me scroll down a little bit. And the uh, shader cache size driver default. And then we have the texture filtering is clamp. Uh, texture filtering quality is high quality. And then threaded optimization auto. Uh, triple buffering is off. Vertical sync adaptive, the half refresh rate. And uh, virtual reality um, uh, pre-rendering. You want to make sure this is on one. And then we have a virtual reality uh, 
variable rate uh, super sampling is off. And then this last uh, option here is on auto. And then once you're done with that, uh, just go ahead and to your program settings. And then if you haven't done so already, make sure that you have uh, added uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator in here. Uh, because uh, when you are in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's going to use the settings that you have here. And um, we'll start again here from the top. Image sharpening, I have at use global setting off. The ones that are grayed out, I won't mention, but uh, this one here, anisotropic filtering, I have at 16 times. Anti-aliasing is use global setting off. Anti-aliasing, uh, gamma correction, use global setting on. And then anti-aliasing mode, use global setting, application controlled. And then we have anti-aliasing transparency off, background application, max frame rate, 45 frames per second. And let me go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, the CUDA GPUs is use global uh, setting, which is all. And then the, um, the fallback policy is use a global setting, driver default. Uh, low latency mode I have at ultra and max frame rate is 45 frames per second. And then the OpenGL uh, compatibility is use global uh, settings. Uh, OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure you choose your uh, specific GPU that you have in there. In my case, it's the RTX 2070 Super. Uh, the power management mode is prefer maximum performance. And then then we have the texture filtering I have it off. Texture filtering uh, negative is on clamp. Texture filtering quality is on high quality. And then this one's grayed out. Uh, threaded optimization, use global setting auto. Uh, triple buffering, I have it use global setting off. Vertical sync is use global uh, setting adaptive and the uh, half refresh rate. Virtual reality, pre-render uh, frames one. And then uh, this last one here, the Vulcan, is uh, use global setting auto. Now, there are other options here that you can uh, kind of go through, and these are mainly to configure like your monitors. In my case, I have several different monitors here, but uh, you wanna go through them and make sure that you are on your specific monitor. Now, uh, for this uh, specific video, just so you know, I do have it on uh, 1920 by 1080p, uh, mainly just because it, it makes it a little bit larger, this uh, NVIDIA control panel, because it's kind of uh, small sometimes when you have it on the 4K or higher setting. But it's up to you. That is not really as important as all of these uh, to begin with. And if you find that it you're having some issues with uh, frame rate, you can always fall back and go to the 1920 by 1080 and try that out and see how that helps you in your VR. Okay, on your virtual desktop streamer, uh, basically what you wanna do is in the preferred codec, this really depends on your internet speed also. Uh, you can uh, try using the H.264. If you're able to go up to the AV110 bit, that's uh, definitely gonna be better quality, but I've had a couple of issues with this specific setting. So what I've done is I've gone to the uh, H.264 plus. Now, uh, I would only use this if you have a really fast internet, like my internet uh, goes up to a gigabyte of download speed. Uh, so this enables you to adjust your settings in the VR up to 500, um, megabytes uh, uh, download speed. 
and uh, or if you don't have a very uh, fast speed you can just go to the H.264 your specific uh, internet speed is going to be that that'll determine a little bit what setting you should choose uh, I do have the uh, adaptive optimization uh, checked and then here you do have the option to go automatic steam VR or the VDXR and I normally would keep it on the automatic and it would just choose the steam um, uh, VR but I've had a couple of issues with the steam VR so I went to the VDXR and I seem to get uh, better performance uh, on there and uh, but you can you can try both of these and see which one actually works best for you I'm just letting you know what I have on here for my setup and then this is on automatic for me uh, VR headset only I uh, use the virtual um, audio driver and then I have uh, automatically adjust bitrate uh, checked I have uh, start with Windows that you can check or uncheck it. That's up to you. Um, and uh, this is a uh, use touch input is checked. Uh, auto select um, microphone is checked and ask for computer access. So once again, that's that's up to you. Now on this uh, specific tab here, the settings area, uh, this is mainly, you know, how Things are going to be displayed in your virtual desktop world, you know, as you're looking around here. But I got uh, auto connect on. Uh, use optimal resolution. I have checked on the top there, and uh, then on the environment quality, I get it on medium. But I have used it on high before too. Uh, that's really you know up to you. And uh, frame rate, I have at 90 frames per second. And uh, the desktop uh, bit rate I have at 65 Mbps, and you can you can adjust that, um, you know, whatever you like as far as that goes. All right, on the top right here where it's uh, screen brightness, I have it 100%, and uh, dynamic lighting enabled when a controller uh, is inactive. That's what I have set up. And then the audio uh, background music when uh, disconnected is checked. And then for audio, I have uh, background music when disconnected checked. Microphone pass through checked. And um, noise cancellation is checked. And I have it at 85%. Um, but once again, these are settings that are really just up to you. Um, copy. Uh, screenshots desktop is checked and increase uh, color vibrance I have checked also and then uh, this uh, streaming section here is the most important in my opinion um, and uh, what you want to do in the top over here where it says uh, VR graphics quality um, you want to set it to whatever you're currently using uh, now on the 2070 I would have it on uh, medium yeah, I think that's what I had in the video. Uh, currently, I am on, uh, right now on the virtual desktop, I am using it Ultra. on Ultra. And uh, this is for my other computer, which is a little bit more powerful. I do have a 4080 on that one. Uh, but yeah, if uh, you want to select the uh, specific uh, graphics card that you have, if it's an RTX 2070, go to Medium. RTX 3070, go to high, and so on and so forth. Uh, VR frame rate, I have at 90 frames per second. And uh, as you can see here, the VR bit rate, um, normally if you choose like the AV1 codec or the, uh, the 264, it'll limit you to 200 uh, megabytes per second that you can um, download and uh, the higher bit rate will increase image quality and latency um, but uh, the H.264 plus allows you to go all the way up to uh, 500 uh, megabytes uh, per second and that's what I have uh, chosen here because I do have a pretty fast internet speed. Uh, sharpening is at 75 percent and then um, I don't have anything checked off there Gamma is at uh, 1%. Now here on the synchronous uh, space warp, I 
kept it on always enabled, uh, pretty much for the most part. I have done it on this, uh, I have disabled it also, but uh, for the most part, I have always enabled. And that's what I was using in that uh, specific video that uh, most of you have seen. And most of the videos that I've been using actually have been with this uh, enabled. And the advanced options, I do also have the Snapdragon um, checked, video buffering checked. And um, this, these are all like personal options here. The increase uh, color vibrance I have checked and um, the show performance overlay, that's mainly when you go in, it'll show you like a little dialog box at the bottom. Uh, if you wanna see like what kind of frame rate you're getting, that sort of thing. Uh, I have it usually checked and then uh, when I go in there, I can turn it off if I want. But um, yeah, these are pretty much the settings that I have for the virtual desktop. And uh, like I said, you give it a try, see what actually works for you. And on that video that you had seen, I believe I was initially on the high settings in Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020. I was using everything pretty much on high, but then I switched to ultra and I was still getting like really, really good frame rates and excellent quality. So if you have a powerful enough computer, go to high or ultra if you're able to. Uh, if not, you can, you know, scale down and go a little bit further. But that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to just quickly show you this uh, here. I uh, just so you all can see what I am uh, specifically using on my setup and um, I hope this helps you out if you did find this video helpful please give it a like and let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions and I'll see you all next time